morning. You are now live. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I said going. <laughs> All right. I'm playing the intro to the little kid. Music that up another, so just fade that yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We're live. Morning, everyone. Did you purposely do it? Huh? Did you purposely do that? Yeah. Oh. It's finding that right balance. We're trying to. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> Intentions like, are good. Like 40 seconds short. The studio looks dark because of the overcast. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Troy. Hi, Troy. Hi, Dad. Hi, Ace. Yes. What's up, Jeremy? And Ace, Leah. Happy Ace. late birthday. When are you going to come and uh, visit us? I know. I want your dad to come here. Good morning, Leah. See, Dad, you have a fan base. You need to come visit. All right, we're ready. Yep. Welcome to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. And we are live here on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live Feed, which is run by the lovely Anita today. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Now, coming up on the show today, lots of fun and entertaining and informative stuff. We have Allison from Arizona Western College, Allison Morgan, and Jeremy Close. He's the director of Much Ado About Nothing, which will be performed out of the college. And then after that, we have Georgie Shawnee coming in from Neater's Bakery because tomorrow is 3.14. Tomorrow is Pi Day, P.I. Pi. But we're going to be giving you a little sneak peek at P.I.E. I like P.I.E. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned because we're going to have those opportunities and a chance for you to win tickets. Or I'm sorry, a gift certificate for that. But then we also have a $50 Lotus Day Spa and Salon gift certificate. Ooh. I need just getting a shot of that there. And then we also have tickets to the U2 Experience out of Orange, California at a Coca Pot Casino this Friday. That is a 21 and over event. So we have those giveaways. And we're going to let you get our number programmed in your phone right now. Just do it. <laughs> Hopefully you're pulled over safely to the side of the road or you're in your, your uh, desk chair at work or just kicking back. The number is 928-343-0993. That's the text line. You do need to have the area code on there if you're texting. If you're texting. Or you will not get the bounce back proper, properly. Okay. First, we're going to open up the entries for the Lotus Day Spa and Salon gift certificate. Yes. $50 value. What's that keyword? Lotus. L-O-T-U-S. Yes, it is. And you can text that as many times as you like. Make sure you put no uh, emojis, signatures, all that stuff. You won't get the bounce back. And I know we say it all the time, but we still get them. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> and if you don't get the bounce back, unfortunately, that means you're not entered. Because once you get the bounce back, you'll, you'll know you've been entered. So just the keyword L-O-T-U-S. And again, you can enter as many times as you like. And when are we drawing that winner? We will be doing the Lotus drawing today, shortly after noon. Okay. So we're, we're going to use that. We'll for, stop the entries at yes. noon. We'll do the drawing a little after. Yes, because it takes a little bit. We get blip, 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 blip. They keep popping in, and we have to allow, especially for the ones that are texting quite often. Yes. It has to just catch up with itself. <laughs> you know, technology is amazing, but then sometimes you just have to... You know, let it acclimate. Sometimes, well, sometimes those texting fingers are quicker than the computer. They, they're very fast. <laughs> I feel sorry for the people that are, I don't feel sorry for them because obviously they're entering to win these awesome prizes, but they, with every text you send, you get a bounce back. So well, just as many as we're getting, they're getting that right back. <laughs> we, we do encourage the frequent entries for our various contests because exactly. it keeps your texting fingers nimble and yes. ready to go because... <laughs> You know, some of these, the giveaways that we have right now, maybe you can't go to the U2 experience on Friday, but we are going to be giving away Yuma County Fair tickets here very soon. Arizona Diamondback tickets. Even better. Super duper soon. So we I'm excited are, for those. We are going to be giving you multiple opportunities to win prizes because I think we're pretty much just the contest show right here. I like it. I like it. 
like that. You know, it's something we get uh, to give our listeners a little treat, whether it's by texting. Um, like Jen said, that monster message line, the text line, is it, it's just better to program it in your phone because we do giveaways through that almost every single day. But not only do we do text giveaways, we also do call-in entries, so our call-in giveaways. And so, it, it's the same number, but if you're calling, you don't necessarily need the area code if you're calling from a landline. But if you program it in your phone it, with it the area code, it, it still works. I know that some... Um, uh, cell phone providers, they make you have that three-digit code in front of it. I just so. automatically, if someone sends me their number, I, I click just, on it and then pull up the little phone button and exactly and go that makes route. it easy that way. If you're out it of does. town, you can but still text also, them without having to go through and add in the area You know, code. think back to when you were younger, and for you, it's a little more recent, <laughs> and how you could remember all your friends' phone numbers. I, mm -hmm. I'm pretty good at my family's. I make it a point. I know my dad's landline. Uh -huh. I don't know his cell number. I know my husband and son's cell numbers and my own, and that's it. Wow. I, I remember, I still remember a grandma after 40 years got a different phone number. They went to Iowa, and then they, they went ahead and just canceled the phone service and then reinstated it because when they came back, they did the phone cable bundle. Uh -huh. I don't, her phone number is on our refrigerator now because none of us remember it. I remember my home phone number growing up. I remember my grand, both my grand, my uh, grandparents' phone number. My my mom's mom still has the same phone number. She still has the same yeah. landline. I remember quite a few n phone numbers. Um, I, it's important too because what happens if your phone, if you don't have access to your exactly. phone? Well, or... We've had our same, and we, again, we still have a landline. We mentioned yeah. that earlier this week. I've had the same phone number for about twenty years. But, you know, think back to way back when we didn't write stuff down and you couldn't yeah. just hit a button and pull it up. I know your phone number by heart. I know, um, I think I know maybe, I think I, think I, oh, I know bosses. I know he, bosses. The same yeah. cell I like forever. his because it, it reminds me of uh, uh, the way I remembered it was a year, 1981. Yeah. Exactly. You know, that's how I always we're, remember We're it. not going to give you that. The <laughs> Three digits three digit that. Before that. He's not going to be in a video by call. <laughs> no, but there's there's certain people that um, I try to remember, especially family, um, that I try to remember their phone numbers by heart. But I dial yours all the time, even if I'm not by you my... just know it? I know it, it, and it's fairly close to my mom. So I know I'm all my uh, immediate family, but uh, after that, it gets a little hairy. Well, my siblings change numbers all the time. Either they lose a phone, it's just easier for them to get a, start a new account somewhere. Yeah. I can't keep track, so... My husband goes, why do you save people's names with the year in your phone? I go, look, up. it's mainly my siblings. Yeah. And it'll be June 2015 or October 2017. And for some reason, I don't delete the old ones. It doesn't update it because they're not just getting uh, this, a different phone. They're yeah. actually changing the number overall. And sometimes they may have given my niece the other phone and flip flop so I get random calls and texts. You know, what I you know, our, with our lovely smartphones, you know, I do direct dial for like my mom, my dad, my brother like my immediate family. But like a lot of my friends, instead of having to go through the contacts, I know the first like three digits of their number and then it pops up. So I see the number Sometimes I have to dial it if, you know, more than three numbers go into the five numbers, depending. But sometimes it's it's easier just to dial those mm -hmm. first three numbers than to go through and actually search the whole contact. So that's, I think that's why I know more of them. My, I don't have is, every single person I know on direct dial. Mine is cool. I've got this little feature on the side, maybe. Maybe. No, not there. Not there either. No, it's somewhere. <laughs> uh, I always pull it up on accident. And you slide the little sidebar over, and it's your favorites. And I have you have the pictures. edge, huh? Yeah, the edges on this one, but I did it earlier on accident. And my, you the, can't do the, it. When I had the S5 Sport, I could do my favorites, and it was across the across top. Across the top. So I could just hit your picture, or boss man's picture, and I could yeah. text or call. Now, apparently, it's because I'm, see it, I think it's because I'm using my left hand, it knows. Oh, do, I'm holding, pushing the wrong thing. There you go. Oh, it okay. actually had a little line, a little vertical line on the side, and then. You just click on your favorite. Yeah, there you go. See, there's my I favorites. See. Cool. And you guys are in there. there so you, go. you have no idea what my phone number is without. There's a 257 in it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good job, Jen. Good well, job. it is March 13th, and today it's National Coconut Tort Day. And I don't like coconut. I don't like coconut at all. <laughs> the word tort is German, and it literally means cake. And tort refers to both a multi-layer cake filled with butter, buttercream, jam, cream, and to a rich, moist, and dense single-layered cake. Tort baby made with little to no flour, but instead with ground nuts and breadcrumbs, as well as sugar, eggs, and flavorings. And little trivia did you know that coconut a coconut tree can grow as tall as 90 feet 
and coconuts were available in the U.S. in the early 1700s, even though the palm was not indigenous to the continental right. U.S. It was brought here. I'm not yep. a fan of coconuts. That's I, think, I, I know you're not. And uh, many of the recipes are some of the old school ones that are still used to this day. That's how far back they go. Wow. Okay. All right. It's also National Earmuff Day. Don't know that we're going to be getting a lot of uh, use out of earmuffs today. <laughs> Someone made an earmuff comment yesterday about my yeah, headphones. Your but headphones. Yeah, I like the over-the-ear head headphones. It's also National Good Samaritan Day. Again, should be every day. It should be Absolutely. every day. Be, be kind to people. Hold doors open. Say thank you. Smile at people. Mm -hmm. If you see that someone needs help, go ahead and lend a hand if you can do so. It's National Jewel Day and National Canine Veterans Day. I like oh, that. I like that, too. And National Open an Umbrella Indoors Day. I don't know the reason for this one. But, you know, well, I think it's the superstition. It is a, it is a wives' okay. tale. Okay. But so. I... I I don't believe I, I don't believe in that in that bad luck thing that you you know if you open an umbrella and doors blah 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 blah. I've done it I don't know how many times, Be, but I think part of it is I don't. Now some people believe in all that stuff. I am just one who personally does not. It's like not the walking umbrella. under a ladder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've held the ladder for quite a few of us <laughs> <laughs> underneath it. <laughs> that should, that's just good karma, holding a ladder. <laughs> Is anyone else having issues with Facebook Live? Little says the screen's all black, it's not loading. Am I the only one with this problem? Um, I have that problem occasionally, um, and all I do, I actually restart my phone mm -hmm. and then bring it back up. But my, um, I'm following along on Facebook Live just like the rest of you, and so far, so good. And uh, thank you, Annette. She says hello. She likes my dress. I appreciate that. Yes, we actually have that same we, dress. I know. We're, we're springy. Sometimes I'm thinking, ah, oh, man, I hope she doesn't wear hers today, too. Why? Well, you don't want to be my twin? Then, then we'll be, like, too twinsy. And people <laughs> Not will just think, the color. No, no. We, we've done, like, last week was all about the color scheme, we're, we're alternating the same colors. Yeah, we are. Well, today is the 13th, and we have several birthdays on our Firehouse Subs birthday shout-out list. We want to remind yes. you that the Firehouse Subs Foundation contributes back to local organizations, and when you buy subs, you help save lives. Birthdays today, Rodrigo Ariola. You have a special one on here. I do, I do. I'm actually going to help her celebrate her third birthday today, Vera Cox. We want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. She She's turns three today. So Aww. precious. Now, Jalen also has a birthday. I don't have a last name, but happy birthday, Jalen. Happy birthday. Johnny Adkins is celebrating today along with Catherine Cruz, Lacey Angelique Grosskites. Melanie Barone or Baron, I'm not sure of the pronunciation yeah. there. If you have something that's a little unique, when you send us those entries, you we can, like the pronouncer. <laughs> you can send us the pronouncer that goes with it. Just spell it out. Bill Thornton celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday he Bill. is Amber's husband from Colligan, who yeah. watches us in the morning. So happy birthday, Bill! Also, twins Gavin and Max Zaroff are celebrating. Happy 15th birthday to my baby boys. Love, mom, dad, and Alice. And Katie Herrera also celebrating a birthday today. Well, happy birthday, all of That's a lot of birthdays today. <laughs> that is. And if you have a birthday coming up or a special wish you would like us to announce, we, we changed the birthday form a little bit just to give you a space to put the date in. Yes. So maybe you can try one out and send it so Teresa can get a look at it and make sure it works okay. <laughs> yes, please, definitely do. Um, Larry Ziegler also has a birthday shout out to Rudy Molina over at Pace Setters. Happy birthday. Now, just go to monstermediayuma.com mm -hmm. on the Today in Yuma page. You will see the Firehouse Subs birthday entry form. Yes. And let us know. It, uh, we're pretty much looking for birthdays in, in the future. It could be tomorrow, not something a week ago yeah when when it's the belated birthdays it's hard because we, we they won't be entered to win it's only for that that week and upcoming week so if it's a belated birthday we, we unfortunately we won't we won't get that one on air because the day has passed but if you you know future birthdays even if it's you know next month or something we will get them on the calendar we'll get them ready to go so put them on the future birthdays. No, That's right. Nothing and weekends are fine too because we'll announce those on Fridays yes, for we our will. catcher Friday birthdays. Now, if you're the lucky winner, we'll pick one each week. You will win a medium sub, chips, drink, and a dessert from yes. Firehouse Subs. Thank you so much to Firehouse. Mm -hmm. All right, we ready to go take a quick break? Yeah, we can take a break. All right, it's today in Yuma on Z93 Outlaw Country Monster Media Yuma.com. Coming up next, Allison and Jonathan from Arizona Western College talking about Toro Tuesday happenings. Today in Yuma is brought to you by Classic Accounting. They have 30 years of experience and knowledge to benefit you. They also have two locations to serve you, in Yuma and one of the foothills. Call them to schedule your appointment today at 343-1040.
and Sprague Sports try out your, your gun before you buy it on 10 lanes of controlled environment at Yuma's only indoor shooting range. Sprague's on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And Quick Refrigeration. They are another amazing family-owned and operated business, and they do so much for the Yuma community. They've been heating and cooling the Yuma area since 1955. Visit GetCoolQuick.com. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Services, they are locally owned and have been providing pest control services in the Yuma area for over 20 years. You can give them a call at 928-343-9149. Better yet, go to their Facebook page. They have a fair giveaway going on, and I believe you only have one more week to enter, and it's it's a great prize pack. It's definitely a night at the fair all, all in one. So go to their Facebook page right now. That's Advocate Pest and Wildlife Services. It's today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed. We'll be back with Allison and Jonathan after this. Aww. Aww sorry. Sorry, little. Feel better. Do you see Larry's comment? Yes. Send it to me, Larry. I'll put it on the calendar for next year. Hello. 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 Hi, ladies. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll be the judge of that. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fabulous. How are you? That's good. Hi, Celeste. Hi, Jonathan. I'm Teresa. 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 Benita. Jennifer. Nice to meet Jonathan. you. You look very familiar. Yeah. Uh, I'm. <laughs> AWC professor. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing theater here for ooh, have you been here nineteen years promoting any additional theater items in our community? I don't. This is the first time I've been here. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. twin. Do you have a twin? A twin? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a twin, I'd probably be the evil one, though. <laughs> that sounds like a meme or something. Yeah. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised. Facebook. Somewhere out there, there is a meme with that on. Sure. Yeah. What one of the little ones? Their uh, yeah. Stephanie and Leah. Their birthdays were on Sunday, I was think, it? So. And one sent the other one's birthday in for the birthday. Well, maybe, oh. maybe you see me there because I'm I'm a regular there, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. We do script readings there. Oh. Wow. Yes. Oh, AWC fun. Theater does uh, a monthly what they call it a script tease. Oh, very oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. fun. Uh, we do it on third Thursdays. Oh. Yes. All right, we got about one minute. No, I lie. A minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. What is my the 19th? Are you letting your hair grow? It looks longer. She just got it cut. Did you? Cut, yeah. It looks longer. Maybe because it's straight. I don't know. I didn't do anything to it today. I mean, yeah, yeah. I know it looks good. I, I think it's, it's the layers. It looks because you have layers in the. It's the light in here. I did the A cut, so I was like, oh, it's cute. Yeah, it looks, yeah. it looks I didn't good. Want to go you. dramatic, you know, drastic. But. It's the light in here. <laughs> Yours looks longer. <laughs> I just no. What did you? I straightened it. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. Yours is short. Yours is long. <laughs> What's her? happened? You know? I like that Nina's here when she did. Now that it, the way it's a little bit longer, the way it falls. That's her business that? savvy look. I like it. I know. It looked really cute. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. We'll talk about Jennifer's off the air. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> She'll share. <laughs> I started taking these new vitamins. <laughs> well, it's only been a week since I've seen you. <laughs> wow. You no, you were gone last the, week. Uh, See? And Express the point That's what happened. It's been two weeks. Happened in two weeks. I caught the Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. I think they should. You should do a spot where you actually see part of the jingle in it. <laughs> yeah, <you> should. <laughs> Their co-op won't reimburse them. They're like, now you owe me money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. You're going to pull that microphone right up to you there. Okay. All right, ready? Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. And I'm Allison. 
That's right. Allison <laughs> is back with us today. We, we gave her a week off. She was doing other stuff, important yeah. stuff. <laughs> now, Allison brought with her today Jonathan Close, the director of Much Ado About Nothing. We're going to talk a little theater at Arizona yeah. Western College. But first, I want to remind everyone that summer registration opens on Monday. Awesome. On Monday. Mu- Summer, summer registration. Yes. Summer. Summer. Did you Monday. say summer? Summer. summer. You're, yeah. for, you're forcing I am the forcing. weather on us, we aren't you? We do that. Yes. Are we going to bring the HOT jar back this year? <laughs> you know we will. You know it. <laughs> we, that is like a curse word when we are in here. There's a lot of other words we can use to describe <laughs> the weather out. Oh, I thought or, you were going to say other words we can use. <laughs> <laughs> to describe the weather okay. during the summertime here. <laughs> so anyway, log on to azwestern.edu slash summer. So you can right. register starting Monday, because we all know those classes fill up really quick. They do, we'll and you have you have the regular summer schedule. Is there also a late start summer or a shorter version? There are shorter versions. Yeah, there are various versions of, of lengths of time for the uh, classes this summer. So you can log on to easywestern.edu/summer and figure out which classes you need and the length of time. All right, it's easy to maneuver the website. You can get everything taken care of online mm-hmm. if as long as you're not a minor. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're yes, right. mm-hmm. I have one of those. <laughs> Not for much only, only one left. Only one well, left. Anita only has one minor left at the house. <laughs> but I wanted definitely to remind you of that. And then tomorrow we have the um, Career Expo, and it's focused on public safety, health, and education classes and programs at Arizona Western. So if you're interested in any of those, public safety, health, or education as a career, you can come out between, I believe it's, um, there it is, 10 to 2 at the 3C Courtyard tomorrow for the Career Expo. Now, for part of the public safety, is th- are they also going to be including the dispatching course, the public safety dispatching probably, in that? Probably, yes. Okay. That's, since that's new, it's probably going to be um, promoted a lot. Because what, what's really cool about that, and we had the gentleman a few months ago yeah. now talking about mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. is there are people that want to be in law enforcement, but they don't want to be a detention officer or a deputy or a mm-hmm. police officer or anything like that, but they still want to be involved somehow. Right. Still and serving. Yes, serving. emergency mm-hmm. dispatch yeah. is a wonderful uh, path for you to take. Yeah. That's some, you know, but I know of many dispatchers who have decided after a while, hey, I want to be mm-hmm. a deputy. Yeah. Or, you know, looking at being uh, an officer. Mm-hmm. So, you know, there's different opportunities provided once you get in those departments. That's so, right. All and right. right. That is a brand and, new program. And the education and the, the medical field, too. So many nursing students yes. that, that make it through the program that mm-hmm. stay right here in Newmont. And Rad Tech. And yes. Massage therapy, all that great stuff. So, yes, yeah. and, and our teachers. We can't of say course. enough about our great teachers yeah, here. Of course. With Speaking of that, <laughs> we have Jonathan here to talk about much ado about nothing. Hello. Hi, right. Jonathan. Thanks well, for having me on. We're glad us, to have you here. Yes, let us know what who, who you are and what you do out at Yes, uh, I am. Uh, my name is Jonathan Close. I'm a professor of English out at AWC, and I'm also directing uh, as a guest director this semester uh, an abridged version of William Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. This uh-huh. is his romantic comedy. It's also the Battle of the Sexes. So it, there's a lot of witty, sparkling, snappy little dialogue. And it's short. I, I shorten the script down to about 90 minutes. Um, and also updated uh, and modernized a little bit of the language. So it's a little bit more accessible for a, for a modern audience. And our cast is 17, mostly, uh, AWC students who are getting their Shakespeare chops in. They are learning how to do it. Well, because it's Shakespeare and you shortened it down to 90 minutes, yes. what would it traditionally have been? Traditionally, the show runs up anywhere between two, uh, two, uh, two and a half hours to wow. two hours and 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. So almost half of the material uh, has been removed. That's that's quite a bit. But I yes. like the modernization too because sometimes mm-hmm. you get a lot of the performances and if it is if you're doing the dialogue directly as it was written, mm-hmm. it can go over a lot of heads. Or what on earth did the that real, mean? The real issue is if the actors know what they're saying and can mm-hmm. communicate can, the intent and you, the emotions, you can buy it. <laughs> then the audience will understand what's going on. And usually when it when a production fails, when when a when the audience isn't able to follow it, it's usually because the actors aren't doing their job. And so one thing I stress as a director, this is the seventh time I've directed Shakespeare. Oh, wow. This is th- this one thing that I stress more of all, most of all to, to my actors is you have to understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Because if you understand it, then you're going to convey intone that. the right words, you're going to convey the correct emotion that needs to be there. And then it's easy to, easy to understand for, for a modern audience. I love At least that. they won't understand every word, but they will understand what's going on and the interrelationships 
and the conflict and all of the the uh, nuances as well. And it's mostly performed, you said, by AWC students. Yes, that's right. We have a we have a few veteran actors uh, from here from from Yuma, but probably eighty percent of the cast are AWC students. Wow! And when will the performances be taking place? We open Thursday night at AWC Theater. The fifteenth. The fifteenth at seven thirty p.m. Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night, this weekend. At 7.30 each at evening. At 7.30 okay. each evening. And then next weekend, the weekend after that, we actually run Friday night at 7.30, Saturday night at 7.30, and we have a Sunday matinee at 2.30 okay. to close out our run. So lots of options. Lots of options. If we have six six different performance opportunities for the, for the public to come and see it. And if you love it so much, you can go to more than one. That's right. I, admission is admission is five dollars. If you have uh, an AWC student ID or a fac or, or if your faculty and also have an AWC ID, admission is free. Oh, perfect! Nice. A good, another perk mm -hmm. of being a matador. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. There you go. Right. I did when I was attending college at Eastern Arizona College. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> One of those other guys. Don't, don't laugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like I'm saying Harvard or Yale no. or anything. <laughs> when, when I was a Gila monster, um, I went to about five different performances of Fiddler on the Roof because mm. I like someone who was performing. <laughs> Let me just say, really? uh, cost you what? How much did that cost you? I got it for free. I had my press pass. <laughs> I was the editor of. Gotta the, love the press pass. I was the editor of the Gila monster. That was also the name of the newspaper there. Right. So. <laughs> Yeah, That's so I, I can still cite many portions of that. Of awesome. course, I can also recite um, a good part of Hamlet's soliloquy. You can. Portions of uh, Romeo and Juliet, the nurse's lines. You know, you shouldn't tell me this because I'll hold you to it. I'll, I'll, but I'll we're, and, I'll we're, and, we're on a time crunch. And, okay. <laughs> because um, <laughs> Neither's has brought pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Pi Trump's right. Hamlet. I, I, I think you should uh, definitely um, <laughs> To be or not to be? <laughs> that is the question. Whether yes. to be. Yes, no, yes. No, please I'm, do. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, so. you're not. <laughs> now you're kidding because he wants to recruit that, you. That was, we'll that was slip a little audition form in the <laughs> <laughs> Slide it right underneath that Jennifer slice. does not have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make time to go watch it. <laughs> All right. Well, get on over to um, Arizona Western College. Six different performances. Six different performances. Shows. And right. you have matinee option next week, but not this coming weekend. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, five dollar admission, $5 but you admission. get in for free if you've got your ID. Yep, that's right. That's a good deal. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's much ado about nothing, the abridged version. Yes, so it's it is. not the Titanic length version, <laughs> of what, you're, what you would normally be expecting. That's all right. All right, what else is happening over at AWC? You know what? I just I want to remind everyone about registration for summer because you know it is March and yes. we're not thinking about summer, so it will sneak up on us. It'll be Monday, and log on to azwestern.edu slash summer for that, and you can log on to azwestern.edu slash calendar for more information about the performance this weekend and all the other exi um, exciting things that we have going on. Good deal, and I think yeah. there was a musical performance coming up soon too. I believe we do. I have, think yeah, I don't. I know. I've gotten so I, many requests for. Different performances I know. and things. We've got a lot going on because it's the you know middle to the end of the semester, so we yes. have a lot of things going on. So. Well, they've they've worked hard all semester okay. long to get right. to this point, exactly. you know, and they're ready for yeah. this performance. And so yeah. I just want to encourage everyone: if you're in any position to do so, get out and see these performances, mm -hmm. whether it's the um, the orchestra or the choir or the the theater. Mm -hmm. You know, they work very very hard, and it's culminated in this. They want to be able to show off their wares. What they right. created. And our art gallery. We yeah. always have something going on in the art gallery. And, and doesn't the culinary students still do their yes. dinners? Mm -hmm. Thursdays, yeah, Thursday. once a month. And you can log on to azwestern.edu for that too, for the calendar. Just go I there and bookmark it. I know, yeah. just, it just you know, plan your week, plan your month. Sounds we have all kinds good. of things going on. All right, lots of great stuff at Arizona Western College. We want to thank Jonathan Close and Allison Morgan for stopping by today for Toro Tuesday. On Today in Yuma, it's time to take our Lotus Day Spot and Salon Selfie out in the courtyard. We'll be back after this break. The show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. Make your appointment to get your 2017 taxes done at Classic Accounting at their Yuma or Foothills location. You can call 343-1040 to schedule your appointment today. 
and Sprague Sports, check out the Sprague's difference. Buy, sell, trade, or consign firearms with free expert appraisals. Sprague's offers lo local price matching and a lifetime warranty. You can find them on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And quick refrigeration. You know what? We're not quite through that midpoint of the week, but it's not too early to plan for Free Filter Friday. Taking your old, dirty, dingy, dusty air filter to 190 West 10th Street, they will give you a brand new standard one-inch air filter for free. Who doesn't love that? I like free. That's Friday's a quick refrigeration. Visit getcoolquick.com for details. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Service offers wildlife control like feral cat trapping, snake and skunk relocation, and pigeon extraction. You can give them a call at 928-343-9149. Message them on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's Today in Yuma. We'll be back with the ladies from Meters talking about Pie Day after the break. Perfect. You brought it next to community to see. Yes, absolutely. We'll put it on the wall next to our Spider Country Wild Wild West. All right. Perfect. Okay. Just, if you just sit it on the yeah. counter right yeah. there, and then I'll put yeah. it. There you go. Perfect. And then we'll get it all taped up. Perfect. That's all there is. Thank you. Giant nails. We have to get ourselves yes. Oh, right. Okay. Our old way? Yeah, let's try it. The, the, the light has changed, so we're yeah, sliding right. back up here. Yeah. Smile! Okay. Thank you, thank okay. you. I know All we right. have like orange blossoms <laughs> dropping in. <laughs> they, they smell good. good. They do smell good. Is that a new shirt? Oh, I got a phone here. It's good. Good morning, ladies. It was ringing. The phone? Yeah. Slide around stuff and I was just opening them right there so that way she can get a visual of your pies. Sorry. Don't try to put my head in the middle of it. <laughs> there Teresa, don't look at the coconut one. I won't look at it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I got it. I already licked them all in case anyone was wondering. J Worm says, save me some pie. <laughs> Come get some. Yeah, take them out of the bag. Yeah. The visual. Oh, you um, like this? Um, I'll help you take your boxes. That looks delicious. Yes. Are you going to eat it? <laughs> Are you actually going to eat it today? I ate it. Yeah. I, I had a sliver of what Janice brought in the other day for the pie the other day. I agree, Jay Worm. I am not a fan. <laughs> oh, coconut? He said Jay coconut Worm, is you're disgusting. dead to me. You're dead to me now. That just what? means more for you. That just means more for you. I'm going to eat three pies. Why okay, not? Three pies. Take some That's a lot of pie. pie. We don't have to do it all today. <laughs> <laughs> Little takes deep breath. <sighs> Hello, Aaron. Do you realize how much we miss you? Both mics all the way to Aaron, the Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Yes. Aaron. Face, face, face. Come visit us. Are going to get on too? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least say hi to Facebook because you've been on Facebook <laughs> already. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> well, I'm going to sneak around by her then. Brenda came from Moral Support and you helped out with the pies. I love it. That's our local Moral Support. Yes. Sorry about that. Alright, we're coming Bye. back. Corresponding. Oh, wait, ready? Do I come out or do you? Come back. Oh, you know when you try to make it sound like that. <laughs> what? When you would sound like you were in a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're recording live. <laughs> that's why it's a different thing. I know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com. And we want to thank Allison and Jonathan for stopping by and telling us all about the Torah Tuesday things happening at the college now. Next up, we are transitioning from education to pie. I'm, I'm excited for pie. <laughs> and not, not the circumference yes, of a circle. Not, not, not that. Well, tomorrow is well, National is Pie Day. To tomorrow yeah. is 314, 3.1415, blah, 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 is pie. Pie. And Neaters is kind of playing off on that, and they're celebrating PIE Day tomorrow. 
and they've got some really cool specials going on. We have Georgia Shawnee here with us from Neaters, and we're going to be talking about that. Thanks for coming in, Georgia. Hi, thank you so much, Georgie. Sorry, I'm sorry, Georgie. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, we have a lovely display of pies here in the studio. Another reason why you may or may not want to watch on Facebook Live, because they look delicious. Tell us what you have brought in. We have a lemon pie. We heard that Janice liked lemon, so we wanted to make sure that she was taken care of. Um, we have our raspberry cream cheese pie and our coconut cream pie. You're thinking They're of me. They're all delicious. Coconut cream is one of my favorites. That's we we got the we got the idea, and so we wanted to make sure everybody was happy. Now, how can patrons get in on the pie action tomorrow? So tomorrow we're doing a special, and when you come in, you can order an entree and get a slice of any one of our delicious pies for $1.50. That's a, that's a good deal. Yeah, and really good excuse. Do it for the math. That's what I said. <laughs> Do it for the math? Do it for the math. Because you're buying something, you're getting one quarter of something. Exactly. It's all educational. <laughs> we were just talking about how you're getting your fruits I am. in there. It's still, I know everybody's trying to diet right now with Lent. Mm -hmm. It still counts. It's a, it's a fruit. You know, you get your bananas, you get your coconut. Well, I attended a <laughs> wedding, and it was yeah. 2015. It was March 14th, so it was 31415, and they had a pie-themed okay. wedding. They're both uh, professed math geeks, as they put oh, it. Perfect. I'm sorry. And so, uh, happy anniversary coming Hello? up tomorrow to Ashley and Jamin, yes, by the way. <laughs> Congratulations. It's always a little reminder. So, will this uh, promotion oh, be here. going on at both of the Neaters locations? I'm yes, okay. both okay. locations here in Yuma. Uh -huh. We have one on Avenue B and then over at the Palms Mall. And I understand we also have a little giveaway that we're going to do. Foodie Delicious, do you remember all the details? I do. We're going to text PIE, P-I-E, to our text line, the 928-343-0993. And he is getting a picture of that on Facebook right now. And until noon, we're going to take an entry, and then you guys could win a $25 gift card okay. to Neater. So right, whoever the winner is, I'm going to get your information. And... Uh -huh. Uh, corporate is going to send it directly from their corporate office to you. That's a good deal. It's just really good just for texting that word pie. Now you can text as often as you like. Again, by noon, that is the entry deadline. And you have to be at least 18 for complete contest rules. You can visit monstermediayuma.com. Again, text as often as you like, but please, please, please text responsibly. And no texting and driving. We cannot emphasize that enough. Yes, most definitely. All right, Georgie. Again, Neaters has two locations here in the Yuma area, right down the road from us on Avenue B, which is extremely convenient, and also a location in the Yuma Palm Shopping Center. So they, they can, again, go to either of the locations tomorrow mm -hmm. and get that slice of pie. I mean, you guys are known for your pastries. Everyone loves mm -hmm. them. Oh, yeah. Uh, this year, we were voted best desserts here in town by the Yuma Sun, which was really amazing. Um, our hearth breads, too, make us really special. Um, we have world-class European Hearth breads, um, they're made fresh every single day. Um, our bakers have this really amazing um, hearthstone oven that is imported from Italy. And we use very little ingredients, little to no ingredients is, uh, not no ingredients. Preservatives. <laughs> you know, no, filler. Yeah, no filler, no preservatives. It's air bread. It's no. flour, salt, water. And you, you keep know, it basic. To yeah, what, really what basic. Need, only what needs to be in there. Yeah, really homey, really. Um, delicious hearth breads. We don't par-bake anything. Um, nothing is frozen, so it's fresh every single day. And it's we, really I was, uh, Teresa, was someone, your, was your mom or someone sick last week and they were looking at soup and she goes, where, where can oh, we get really soup. good chicken noodle soup? <laughs> yeah. I went last week because my throat hurt and stuff, yeah. but I actually had to get one of the sourdough bread, the bread, bowl. the bread bowls. I, oh I had gosh. to do it. I couldn't just have it in a cup. We've got to. <laughs> Everybody comes in for our broccoli soup. The broccoli soup's a huge hit. We have a new one that's like my personal favorite. It's um, wild rice and chicken. Mm -hmm. We have um, some local favorites. We have like a chili, a green chili verde kind of. That's what mm -hmm. I had. Oh, it so was, good. and it had hominy in it and green chili. Yeah. It was a soup. It was very good. Yeah. Right now, that and they're changing all the time. We we're constantly updating new recipes constantly taste testing new recipes. Um, this month we're doing um, the Irish soda bread mm -hmm. with the soup. Um, we have a unicorn eclair. It's so cool. Okay, like, explain uh, that. It's, it's a really, we have a, a classic eclair and coming up to Easter we wanted to do something really festive and I, I got a chance to go to corporate office and see it like brought out on the plates, how they bring it out um, and everybody kind of filters through everybody's opinions and and they really put a lot of time and effort into choosing what they want to you know the public to see and it's really beautiful you gotta come in and see it it's um it's like a half eclair and it's got cream in it and 
it's pink and teal blue and I was I was betting purple. <laughs> I would have been wrong. Some kind of rainbow. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, you know, it's we were thinking rainbow. It. It's sparkles. Does it have a little horn? It doesn't. You know, that's what I was wondering too. I was like, unicorn eclair. Is it going to have a horn? No. But it's the, the rainbow. It's the rainbow color. Yeah, it's very. Well, it's certainly worth checking out. Well, stop by Neater's locations tomorrow in Yuma and get a slice of pie for a dollar fifty, and and that's when you buy an entree. Yes, right? when you buy an entree. That is such a good deal. All right. Now, do you guys have a local Facebook page, website? I know it's a corporate website. Is there a local website? We do have, uh, we don't do like a local thing necessarily. We have an app that you can go to. We just started selling our gift baskets online. You can have it sent anywhere in the United States. Oh, cool. That's a fun thing that just happened this late, last year. Um, we're doing, we do constant promotions online. I think we're reaching out a lot. Um, now on media. So it's best to go online. How do they find you online? Uh, Neaters.com. Oh, okay, perfect. That's mm -hmm. K-N-E-A-D-E-R-S. All right, a reminder again, you can text to win a $25 gift card from Neaters. Just text the keyword PIE, P-I-E, to mm. 928-343-0993 by noon today. And those reminders for texting, Teresa. Uh, you have to put the 928 in front of it because otherwise you will not get it will not go through it'll it'll try and text our phone line which that does not work so um, remember no emojis no signatures um, although we like to see them you won't get the bounce back and unless you get the bounce back you that the bounce back is what lets you know that you are actually entered to win again you can text as many times as you'd like and please text responsibly and Little says, is it made with real unicorns? I imagine they would taste magical. So. Oh. <laughs> They're pretty darn good. <laughs> unicorns are delicious. <laughs> All right, our guest today, Georgie Shawnee with Neaters here in Yuma. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. I want to remind everybody, too, to stop by and um, check us out. We're going to be at the air show. Um, we made a special edition, like, fighter jet cookie just for our chalets. Awesome. It's really cool. And that's mm -hmm. this Saturday at a this Marine Corps Air Station, Yuma. Now, tying in with that, I have a little note here. The Blue Angels were not able to actually be here to perform in the air show on Saturday, but as a thank you to the Yuma community and Marine Corps Air Station Yuma for inviting them, they are doing a special two-pass formation flyby of Yuma tomorrow. Oh, it will be time. over MCAS about 1.55 in the afternoon. Ooh. If you want to drive on over, maybe park across or park by the fairgrounds, mm -hmm. it's, you'll have a great uh, advantage there to see it and their display of gratitude by the Blue Angels for MCAS Yuma and the city of Yuma's flexibility and willingness to support their performance at the air show. Again, they're not able to be in the air show, but those flybys are going to be comprised of six FA-18 Hornets that will fly directly over MCAS Yuma. So see tied in nicely there. And again, Neaters will be at the air show this Saturday. Yes. Yes. All right, it's time to take our Lotus Day Spa and Salon selfie with Georgie out in the courtyard. We'll be back after the break here on Today in Yuma with another chance for you to win another cool prize. Ooh. It's Z93 Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed. We'll be back. Painless. Oh, that sounds well, like painless. Painless. Yeah, the one tomorrow? <laughs> well, it takes the whole team of Boston. Boston. <laughs> 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 we haven't seen a blade. Right they haven't been here in a while. But they've been like in a good county, though. Um, they want to see how this in the too is high. Oh, thank you, Janice. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, come right back here, ladies. <coughs> Go ahead. Line up in a little here. Thanks, Miss Meter. Yeah, no worries. They told me to get pretty pictures picture. of them. Come, come, come on, you have to. I force you to be on, on Facebook Live. Smile. Awesome. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, ladies. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Hi. Very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
One of the, um, there's a... Hi, Carrie and Margarita and Justine. Special edition beer that, um... Oh, you my, were... I saw that. Yes. It was a Belching Beaver? Belching Beaver. Beaver. I... Beer? No. Um, it, they collaborate with one of, um, really awesome uh, bands, the Deftones, and they've put out... They've been doing it by season. So the first one they put out was Phantom Bride. The second one was Swerve City, which I loved because it's more of a fruity taste. Is it, is it like citrusy? Yeah, it's it. But I'm. It's hard. For, I'm very picky when it comes to like the craft beers. At I don't like something that's like too too hoppy where right. it leaves it. Yeah. See, and so, Tim likes it hoppy. I, yeah, he likes and the IPAs. So the new one they have is all of them are ma named after their songs, but this one's Good Morning, Morning Beautiful. And when I read the ingredients, I was like, coffee, coconut, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what. But I'm going to try it because um, I, I'm collecting the bottles, too, because right. the bottles are really cool. And so um, I got it when we went to Bevmo, and oh, I is actually it good? really like it. The coffee flavor is not too strong. The coconut is not super overpowering either, so I was able to drink it. was delicious. I think that's one Tim would like because those are flavors he likes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't know that I could even explain what hoppy was because I'm weird, not a beer drinker. Yeah, so I don't. Yeah. It has it hop, the hop leaves a more of an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that. But it was really good. I actually really yeah, enjoyed it. But I think it, hoppy. So. I think Easter. No. But she's not a beer drinker. Well, I'm not what either. What are you doing? Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to sneak pie before we did. <laughs> oh, yeah, over there from the counter? I'm not that good. You want to see me trying to climb through the window next door? That would be scary. Again, Anita, what is it with you? They're precarious. Those They're precarious. They just want to slide off the plate and mm. onto the floor. Thank goodness we have more next door. There's plenty. Oh, wait, are we ready? Yep. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are live here on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed. Many ways to listen or watch the show. Yes, and we actually had a call um, a little bit ago from uh, Darren Simmons. He is actually um, calling to let the community know that there is a community meeting this evening at the Foothills Library, library at 5 o'clock. And um, he invites all of you to go and participate. There will be a representative from um, APS there. Um, so if you have any questions or anything for them, there will be a representative there at the Foothills Library at 5 p.m. community meeting with Darren Simmons. And I love that Supervisor Simmons is doing these on a regular basis to mm -hmm. give the community members, residents, an opportunity to come in, have their voices heard, and maybe just request information or share thoughts, concerns, and ideas about things happening within his district. I'd like to see some of the others doing that, just have more representation throughout all the districts. I, I, I totally agree, and I like that he brings in different um, organizations um, to these meetings, so that way you have one-on-one, face-to-face -on -one, -face conversations with these people, and you can get the answers that you're looking for. Right, sometimes, especially with the big organizations mm -hmm. like APS, or Far West Water that was there not too long ago, sometimes people don't think it's even worth trying to reach out to them because they're such big organizations, exactly. and maybe your voice might not be heard. So it's a great opportunity to get down to the local level and speak. Now, Cindy is telling us the Blue Angels will be at Luke Air Force Base this week, and they confirmed that back in January, so that's why they're not available to perform at the air show here. But you know what? I think it's really awesome that they're going to do something special for us still. Um, and you said that's coming up tomorrow? Yes, the flyover will be tomorrow. Two flybys or flyovers over MCAS Yuma on Wednesday at 1.55 p.m. Well, that's pretty specific, so I think we should go do a, a field trip for that. Yes. Because they haven't, I don't think that they've been in, I remember. It's been a while. It's been I a remember, while. I remember the Blue Angels at all yeah. the, I remember that they air were shows. like, all the time they were at the air shows, and then we haven't been here for a while. Well, they did a budget cut. Do you remember? Yeah, um, they did budget cuts, and that was one of the areas where they uh, where some funding was affected. Yeah, that, so they reduced the number of squadrons that are available oh. with the Blue Angels, and that's why you're not seeing them um, as frequently as you have in the past. So it's all about the budget cuts, and unfortunately that was an area that was affected. And it's, it's not deemed essential. And, yeah. exactly. and, and, you know, when you're looking at making sure that you can – pay all of our military men and women and, yeah, you sure. know, pay for all these other things. That is kind of where things, the pecking order is affected. Well, I like that they're going to make a, a, 
a special flyover for us. So if you have the chance um, to get out there and see them tomorrow, 155, like Jen said, if you are going to be sitting along 32nd Street, please do so safely. It is a busy road. Yeah, and sit, sit back a little ways. So they're not right off the roadway. Exactly. You're not going to miss them. They're, they're, <laughs> they're rather large. So definitely um, um, go see, check that out tomorrow. And it's a two-pass formation. Once again, it will be comprised of six FA-18 Hornets that will fly directly over MCAS Yuma. Sounds good. Excited. All right, now we are opening up the text lines for the last contest of the day. We have another pair of tickets, too. These are for Cocopa Casino this Friday. It's the U2 Experience from Orange County, California. Tribute to U2. Showtime is at 8 p.m. The tickets are valued at $30 for the, the pair. You do have to be at least 21 for this event. For rules, you can visit monstermediayuma.com. Just click on the contest tab, and we will also be picking the winner of these afternoon today. We're going to so, be busy around noon today. Noon, well, I figure we just get it all in and get do it, it all, all done. Want. Get it all done. Rather than saying, oh, I have one at 11, 12. We, we are doing another contest on our Facebook page for Z93 and Outlaw Country, mm -hmm. and it's another pair of concert tickets, and that will be 11 a.m., but that's a different. This is show giveaways at noon, and the Facebook giveaway will be at 11. Sounds good. All right, now there is a criminal cheerleading tryout coming up for Yuma High School. They're holding an informational meeting on Wednesday, March 21st at 5.30 p.m. It will be taking place at the Yuma High School, High School cafeteria. They will explain things like the tryout information, the cost of being involved, and if you have any other questions, they can address those also. They are holding cheer clinics Wednesday through Friday, April 18th through the 20th. So it's a little ways off, but certainly worth putting on your calendar now. Mm -hmm. And practice time will be 5.30 to 7 p.m. at the old gym. And then official tryouts will be Saturday, April 21st. Warm-ups at 9 and the tryouts at 9.30 in the old gym in the dance room. So you can always follow them on Facebook. They have Yuma High School Cheer as the page. And they are posting more information there also, like the same flyer. But cheer packets will be given out at the informational meeting. So if you are a criminal student yourself or perhaps an incoming freshman next year at Yuma High School, they will go over all of that information. And I know they've they've really been working the last couple of years on rebuilding that squad, mm -hmm. too. That's right. And uh, getting a lot more of the students involved, and, and I like to see that. Yep, sounds good. Coming up this Saturday, there is a chance to donate blood through the American Red Cross over at the Yuma Senior Living in their bake room. That's 2600 South 4th Avenue. Um, you can donate blood from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and that's coming up this Saturday at the, it, that's the new one, right? The new yes, one. we had the ladies on a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It's uh, right, located right across from McDonald's on 4th Avenue. Exactly. And you can't miss it. If you'd like to make an appointment for donating that day or just to get more information, you can go to redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. And the sponsor code for this event is Yuma SL. Oh, that's easy enough. All right, then we have the Yuma Rotary St. Patrick's Day event coming up on Saturday. Also, it's a very busy week this week, especially for St. Patrick's Day activities. Yes. It's the Yuma Rotary St. Patrick's Day dinner, auction, and costume contest. I can't wait to see some of the photos come I out know. for the costumes. <laughs> It's 6 to 11 p.m. this Saturday, and it takes place at the AWC Shoney Conference Center. It's a 21 and over event, and the proceeds will benefit Yuma, uh, the Yuma Rotary Club and all of the generous philanthropic uh, things that they do here in the community, plus scholarships. Remember, they talked about last year they were able to fund a pretty much a full-ride scholarship. And, and I think that was the, that's their goal, again, with the, in the they were able to fund that full-ride scholarship through this event, through the proceeds right. that were... A $40,000 scholarship. Exactly. And tickets are $75 a person or eighty-seven fifty if you go for the VIP route, which has, that's the bottle service, right? I believe so. And, and well, I think they said they had whiskey try, different whiskeys and things that they were going to, going to try. Um, get your tickets now. Um, you can buy a half a table for 300 a full table for 600 but definitely want to get out there and support the Yuma Rotary. Again, take your pocketbooks, though, because they have some awesome, awesome auction uh, items that they're going to be doing, They too. sure do. That's RotarySt.Pats.com if you would like more details about that. Yes, most definitely. You know, real quick, um, I've been seeing this come across online all over the place. Um, coming up tomorrow, um, they, they're having a quote-unquote national walkout day, um, but we found something that is a little bit more positive so that our students aren't missing um, 
as missing more school because there was even in the Yuma area um, there was a little bit of a scare and and students were unfortunately had to miss a day of school um, so the the walk up part of it I'm not exactly um, happy with that part of it um, but they're encouraging students and teachers and faculty and and parents to 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 participate in this but we found an alternative that I think is a little bit more positive. Um, actually, I, I feel it's a lot more positive. I agree. And you can still get your point across with it. It's a national walk up that they are wanting to encourage people to participate in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And they're wanting students to walk up to the student who sits alone at lunch mm -hmm. and invite her to sit with you or walk up to the kid who sits quietly in the corner, smile and say hi. Mm -hmm. Walk up to the kid who may be disruptive in class and ask him how he's doing because sometimes you're not sure why these individuals are acting out, but exactly. there's generally some underlying reason. And walk up to teachers and school staff and say thank you. Walk up to someone who has different views than you and get to know him or her and walk up to 14 students and three teachers and say something kind. Honor the lives of those lost by walking up, not out. And there's a hashtag, walk up, not out. I really, really like this. And this is something that, you know, kind of goes along with what the kids from O.C. Johnson's um, school are doing. You know, they are coming together to help each other. And I think ultimately that's what we need to do. You know, bring more of that positivity back. And I like what you said, you know, walk up to someone who has different views than you um, and get to know him or her. You might find out that you actually have a lot in common. Um, and just because you disagree with some something that's uh, the something that somebody else um may believe doesn't mean that the, that you're wrong or they're wrong and it doesn't necessarily have to turn into a negative that's what makes good friendships you have that everybody's different everybody has different beliefs and things but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're wrong and you if can we still were, have friendships if we were all the same all the time think of how boring that would it be it would be so boring but the thing <laughs> is being able to appropriately express your beliefs yeah. and be able to respect those of others exactly. knowing that you know we're, we're not going to think exactly the same all the time but hey we can peacefully coexist mm -hmm. and that's where we really need to be with this you just need to respect you know your friends your fellow classmates each other it just comes down to respect and you know everybody's different you're not going to agree with everybody in life it, the, you're going to run into so many people that you may not agree with but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be negative towards them and i think a lot of the stuff we see on social media now just wants to go towards the negative instead of you know what those are healthy fun relationships to have because you guys can have engaging conversation and go back and forth without hating and, and right. being negative and that, but that's what's hard to also be able to tell on the other side of a monitor or a screen oh definitely because people these and there are some really good questions that are posed i'd like to see the thoughtful debates that take place mm -hmm. but then they do turn nasty and almost every Every instance, if I've it's something seen it. controversial, yeah, we witnessed it. and yeah. I want to be able to see people have some um, productive back and forth. And exactly. sometimes, again, like with with texting or emails, you can't always convey the tone exactly. that that person is trying to send. So I encourage you know what, have these conversations in person. Get mm -hmm. together with your friends, meet up, hang out, have lunch, go have a piece of pie tomorrow. Exactly, and <laughs> kick back and, and have some conversations, whether it be political or anything else but uh, again express your differences but do mm -hmm. so appropriately and respectfully exactly walk up not out that's right <laughs> again that is taking place tomorrow and Pi Day 314 is also going on tomorrow. Get an entree at Neaters and you can buy a piece of pie for a buck fifty at either one of their two locations. Sounds good. I'm ready to try this pie we have here <laughs> in the, the studio. And then coming up on the show tomorrow, we have Sarah Wisdom from the Yuma County Library coming in. And it's always fun to talk to Sarah because they mix it up all the time. They do. And have a variety of things at each of the branches. Now, air show is Saturday. We it was showing rain in the forecast, but that is that's pretty much as of now. I think that ship has sailed. But it's gonna it's showing more of a chance for Friday. More of a chance for Friday, but it's gonna be windy, and it's always mm. windy during the springtime. It, it is. So um, plan your picnics accordingly, or your kite flying, because it's good weather for that. <laughs> it is, and there's also um, music on Main going on. We're going to have Carrie Ring in later this week to talk about that. Um, I'm excited because there's a couple of our local monsters that will be performing on stage. I don't know the exact times yet, um, but definitely want to get down there and another way to celebrate. 
celebrate. I, you can do the air show earlier in the day and head on to Music All Main later in the, in the evening. That's right. Lots of things taking place. Again, this year, we love that our local organizations, our city governments, and everyone, they're partnering to bring this great entertainment. And Tunes and Tacos is in April, and they're still I'm looking excited. at salsa competitors for the Salsa Queen competition. Not just open to women. It's open to anyone. Mm -hmm. They have... Uh, Medium, mild, hot, or wild, all different kinds. I'm excited because we are actually going to be there on um, Friday night. Right. Paloma um, is performing mm -hmm. Friday, and we are emceeing the event. And then Saturday for the Color Me Bad concert, we're, we're going to be there for sound check and doing some Facebook Live backstage with the guys from the band. So yes. We'll super excited. We'll have your exclusive interview with Color Me Bad Um Facebook Live interview. And you had me at tacos. That's all we really needed. And salsa. <laughs> yeah. Chips and salsa. I can like that. There you go. We're, 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 <laughs> we're all happy, good. Happy. <laughs> it's Today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, Monster Media, Yuma.com. Coming up next, it's Bob and Sherry on Z93 and your favorite classic country music on Outlaw Country. We will see everyone early tomorrow. Be careful. Have a wonderful day. KCYK Yuma and KLJZ Yuma. All right, Bye. we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.